So um, now in 113, we're starting to get into municipal solid waste. <coughs> this is really just more of the uh, overall accounts of solid waste. Um, so if you have any questions, there's nothing really notable on these accounts here. Uh, I know the selectman and the town manager did cut these budgets a little bit, a couple line items, and I'm fine with that. We'll just work with them. Those costs, those allocations. Mm -hmm. How many uh, pickups at businesses does this uh, budget reflect? How many actual businesses? How many actual pickups? I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. I, I'll have, I have that in my once office. Week, I could have it for you tomorrow. Once a week or uh, it all depends. Some businesses get picked up once a week. Some get picked up five days a week, three times a week. Okay. But I, if you want, I can get back to you with that number. Well, it's, it sounds like it's, <coughs> it's based on your actual expenditures that you've had in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Without change. Okay. I had heard that uh, picking up a barrel, you know, the big, was it 96 gallon barrel, costs like uh, 11 bucks a barrel? 1050. 10 a barrel. All right. And that's your number, 1050. That's my number. And that includes the actual tipping, I assume. Correct. All right. How much is it just to pick it up? I mean, I just the reason why I'm asking is I've been doing a little experiment at home. And everyone should try this at home. But I got a 96-gallon barrel. And I'm now in my eighth week of not putting it out front. And I'm at three-quarters full. If everyone only put their barrels out when they were full, would that be a significant savings? Mm -hmm. Or would it mean no, nothing to it'd you? It'd be a fair savings. The trucks are still going to have to go down the road, but th it'd be a fair savings. It's an interesting concept. If people would only put it out when it is full, I think there could be a savings. They never really thought about it. Yeah. I, th I think our citizens are pretty cooperative, and if you know, especially with the help of the selectmen, uh, Mr. Bean, if we were to encourage our citizens to only put out the barrels, say, when they get three-quarters full, then I think we could see some real savings in that, and as the as the DPW director suggests. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to highlight that. <coughs> Thank you. All right. Is that 1050? Is that picking up rubbish, or is it also picking up <coughs> recycling material? Just rubbish. <coughs> just rubbish. Just rubbish. <coughs> and do you have a number of how many barrels were sold to businesses when the conversion was made? I do, but I don't have it at the top of my head. I mean, I have it in my office. I have all kinds of numbers back there. If I, yeah. if I could, while we're on the topic, just out of curiosity, <coughs> for the recycling, I'm thinking of the glass bottles. I can't imagine the amount of glass that's picked up on the beach, uh, given the businesses, the restaurants. Does the town make any money? Does any money come back to the town from the bottles that we... It's interesting you ask because I just got a um, an invoice today from Eco Maine where we're taking it and um, I negotiated that contract with them <laughs> and the way we have it set up is they have a number of different pricing scenarios uh, with communities. Some communities just say you know what we don't want any revenue but we don't want any charges because the it's commodity that changes it fluctuates over a period of time. Mm -hmm. um, so we, I worked out a deal with them where we don't pay anything unless it gets to a certain point where it's costing eco Maine. I think it's like $15 a ton or something like that. If it costs them more than $15 a ton, then we get surcharge. Other than that, we're in a good situation where we make money if they make money, mm -hmm. but we haven't been making any money. I just got one today, there's zero revenue, which means that they're either, it's, they're either zero revenue or it's actually costing them upward to $15 a ton to get rid of it. Okay. So and it fluctuates. I've seen it two years ago. We were making some money probably. Uh, I've seen it up to probably, you know, um, five, ten dollars a ton uh, that we've been making. It's not a lot of money and it's amazing mm -hmm. how it fluctuates. Is that strictly the glass now? Oh no, that's everything's commingled, so it's all together. All right. Okay. Thank you. But when that ends up in a trash barrel, the trash barrel's costing us how much a ton? It's around, I think it's eighty-two dollars a ton uh, to as a tipping fee, um, and we are looking at we're ending our 
contract with waste management in 2015, so we're going to be looking at a whole new mm -hmm. way of doing things. Hopefully we can save some money. So again, we can save by getting more in the recycling <coughs> oh, sure. and not paying any tipping fee, at worst case scenario, yeah. than putting it out in the trash barrel mm -hmm. and paying $82. And put a few trash into the recycle bin. <laughs> well, I, you know what I mean. Put your recycling I, I, in the I'm recycling. Only, it's getting sorry. late. I, I'm all getting, right? Yeah, it is getting late. I'm you sorry. know, there's there's a way to save money with just what we have right now without beating people. <coughs> but, okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. <coughs> so, there you go. Sorry, Ali. No, that's okay. Oh, I just asked one quick question. Sure, Could Brian. you send that information of businesses or whatever that have received barrels? Um, going on to Bob's question. Um, you said you had the information. Could you just you email me tomorrow sure. and, and ask me the question, then I can just respond to you. Sure. It's my brain starting to get a little fried, yeah, too. Yeah. No, no problem. Yeah. I was just kidding. Sorry. Okay. Moving on. Uh, 115, uh, again, solid waste. This goes into vehicle maintenance, collection bins, and... Uh, Replacement equipment. Um, Slockman did cut it. Town manager to eighteen thousand. Um, I am concerned about that because those vehicles are high maintenance, and we have six trailers that we have to maintain, and those six trailers are expensive. So I do have a concern about that, but we'll do the best we can to work within those uh, a lot of amounts of money. Those uh, those bins are the barrels I was referring to earlier. Right, uh, which have serial numbers on them. Mm -hmm. Now I know that I, among others, was suggesting that we have a reader to read those serial numbers right on the truck, um, which wasn't done when we bought the truck, of course. But I know it can be retrofitted. Do you have any co any sense of the cost of putting such a reader on there? Well, there's two things. If you want to just read it, yes, that's one thing. And I've actually looked into that mm -hmm. recently. Right. Um, that was, um, oh my gosh, I think it was around $10,000 per truck. Then they have another one that they've tried the technology that can weigh it and then read it. And that technology has not been perfected. And that's probably twice that amount of money or more. Well, when, you <coughs> when you're talking about the reading it, it would actually be not just an image, but a, uh, um, a text that would result from that, right? All it would do is read and says um, it read a code, a serial number, and it said this serial number, uh, this cart was picked up at 9:30 on December 15th. Right. That's all but it's going to say. But when you join that with your existing database, because one of the other proposals that was made and was accepted was that when we distributed the bins, that the serial numbers be recorded as to the address they were a lot a lot of done. Yeah. I assume you're still maintaining that as you distribute them. So if you drive down the street, automatically read the serial number, we will know how many times that serial number was picked up, mm -hmm. and we'll know what address that serial number is associated with, correct? <coughs> By joining the two mm -hmm. files. Mm -hmm. And this would enable the kind of data collection that uh, uh, Selectman Bean and myself and others find so critical to, to making policy decisions or comments on. So, uh, 10,000 per vehicle? How many vehicles are we That's have? just for the reader. That's just for the reader, right? I estimated, when I did the commercial study, I estimated $100,000 for the whole program. Because, because then you need the software to then take that information from the truck. You need it computerized. So, I have been in touch with uh, Cascade Cars that have this service. Um, I think it's Detroit, someplace uh, that has this reading system. I was going to talk to them. Mm -hmm. But we're talking anywhere from, because we have six trucks. We'd have to put it on all so six 60, trucks. 60,000 just for so the 60, hardware. That's just for the readers. Right, mm -hmm. so we have the hardware. We're going to need right. $60,000. Well, we don't have it now. Well, right? no, if, if we put up 60 k yeah, we, we could get the hardware installed. Right, but mm -hmm. I think... You, then we'd have to get. Then we have to get the data out of that hardware exactly, into yeah. our computer system and do right. the join, mm -hmm. which is actually a, should be a fairly simple process for someone who knows stuff. Yeah, uh, but I estimated a hundred grand to go to that process. Right, but but that no, that. actually that was including billing, so we could probably do it for seventy, yeah. seventy, seventy-five, just to read it, not to do anything with the data. 
But that really gets into a policy question, Mr. Bean, and that's really reserved for the Board of Selectmen. And I strongly recommend, and I think perhaps the DPW director would agree with me, that that might be something very worthy of consideration to at least get that hardware out there because we need to be able to start collecting that data. Yeah. Thank you. Sonny, do you have your hand up? Yeah, I had a question. The scale down the transfer center, what the, does that actually weigh the, the trucks that are going up to Rochester? Yes. Or is it too he are they too heavy? Yeah, we weigh everything. No, wait. We weigh, yeah, we weigh. We weigh those, yeah. Okay. But they're also weighed yeah, in both, weighed place, three, in uh, Rochester, in both yeah. places. They're weighed in Eco Maine for recycling, and they're weighed um, at Rochester as well. Okay. So the All right, because I I thought the trucks would be too big for the scale of it, so. All right. I had one more question if I could ask. Sure, Bob. <coughs> one of the private warrant articles is to discontinue the pickup of commercial waste in the town. Are you able to distinguish what's residential and commercial if, in fact, there's a store on the first floor and four apartments above it? It would be a little detective work. It's not something that would just happen on its own <coughs> in just that scenario that you just identified. So that would add a burden to your department, I would assume, in sorting this out? I don't know if I'd say a burden, but it would be extra work, at least initially. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are pretty good on the trucks. They're pretty quick on picking up on something like that. So in the long run, you know, I, I'm not sure it would be a continual ma major burden. Initially, initially it would be for, you know, figure out which is which. but. But these serial readers would also f facilitate that work if we were to mm -hmm. take that policy direction. Yeah. I mean, having that information, having data like that, offers the Board of Selectmen, the policy-making body, much flexibility to make fact-based uh, policy. And uh, again, that's why I want to encourage them to look into getting those readers on board as soon as possible. Would we actually need them? I'm sorry. Would we actually need them on six trucks? or just the routes that have commercial if we were looking to do that. I mean, I don't... Down and switch them around. Yeah, pretty I much need the flexibility on all the... I mean, no, you can't switch them from truck <coughs> to truck. They're, they're yeah. more of a permanent mount type yeah. thing. I mean, um, do we have dedicated trucks? For, could we dedicate a truck for certain routes? No, because we need no. the flexibility to right. move trucks around if they're getting maintained or broke down or just the day of the week or whatever. So it would... But, you know, I mean, I say that, but like with our GPS units, <coughs> we've got three GPS units to do the tracking when we have six trucks figuring we can do one one week. But that those are more portable, too, so... I just <coughs> think that's for it's not the kind of thing you want to move around. No, but I'm just thinking there are whole sections of town that have nothing that you would really need to monitor to that to that degree. Mm -hmm. But I'll leave. You have certain, certain sections of town with a, where uh, there's going to be one here, maybe not another one in that. Well, depends on the policy you're trying to monitor, really. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. I mean, and I think that this is all pointed towards resolving the commercial trash issue. I mean, as we go around the table. Well, for, um, for me, it's a matter of enabling uh, fact-based policy-making decisions upon the board of selectmen. Right now, they don't have enough data, enough uh, facts yeah. to base good policy on. So it's a matter of getting them the data so that they have the facts and upon which to consider the best policy, well, whatever that might that's be. That's why I brought that up, yeah. okay? Because if you're looking for data from a particular segment and a large portion of the town is not in that segment, <coughs> then there's not a need to outfit all six trucks to gather that. I'm trying to come somewhere in the middle of a big expense on one side and accuracy on the other to get a handle uh, to wrap ourselves around what the reality actually is. But that being said, I'm going to move on. Thank you. Can I just follow up for a second on, you said that should the private warrant article be adopted, initially it would create more work in your department, but over time you thought, you know, I might be able to sort it out, out by, your word, detective activities by the employees. If there's a driver with the armed packer, how does he sort that out if he never leaves the truck? Well, they just, we'd have to come up with a system. I mean, I'd have to think that through with my drivers. But, I mean, they would 
be a way if 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 that worn article passes, if it ever becomes you know the way of the world here, um, can we do away with commercial? We would have to just like we do with everything else in public works, figure it out. Okay. We we would figure it out how to do that. Would make it work, which we do well. So I'm just saying that initially, just like when we got into recycling on Fourth of July weekend. I mean. Hello, but we made it work. Mm. So I know that may not answer you what you want to hear, but we would work it out. So initially there'd be a little extra work, time to figure that out. We may have a guy that's on light duty drive around and do that preemptive strike. I'm not sure how we would do that. Uh, but I think over a period of time, the guys get to know the routes, they get to know the carts. And they're pretty quick. I mean, most of the stops are residential, and it's just a single-family house. So, you know, they can just go right by there, whereas if they come up to a store and they see, you know, three bins out there, they're going to say, well, something's up with that, and then they'll <coughs> notify someone. They won't have to investigate it. They'll log it in. You know, the store has three bins, and we'll have to send someone over there and say, what's going on here? You know, and they may say, well, we have residential apartments upstairs. There's three of them. Oh, okay. The complexity at the beach is, you know, much, much greater than the rest of the town. Mm. That's the problem, I think, that, that you're trying to speak to, right, is really the beach. And the trees like may not get trimmed. Yeah, not the cemetery. <laughs> 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 I think the problem that we have is that goes back to the beginning when we jumped into this recycling and it wasn't thought through entirely. We made a huge investment and we didn't equip DPW to do not only the trash pickup that formerly went to a private hauler, all right, but now we created our own business and you had to staff it, but then we didn't staff anything else. And of all the things I've heard on the commercial pickup, there it's going to be labor intensive and I don't to sort that out. And I'm hearing tonight we don't have the answers again. Oh. So my own have what? I'm we sorry. don't have answers again on how it's going to work if certain Warren articles are succeed, how they will work. And I think we were left in a hole when we went for the recycling and before we make any other moves. I hope there's some answers answered before election time. Point of order, Madam Chairman. Yes, sir. What were, you know, there, there's no big secret that this whole uh, waste pickup and so on, this whole complex, it's too complex for us to get involved in now. You what we're looking at here, you know, what happens three months from now, if and when those warrant articles either pass or fail, is going to change his operation. That's right. Right now, our budget, or this budget in front of us now, we should be just concerned with maintaining the status quo of his operation. Mm -hmm. He's presented us a budget here that we should be looking at without projecting what is going to happen with the commercial pickup six, four, five, or six months from now. Let's stick with these pages as they are now and not think about making any changes based on what may happen four or five months from now. I don't think we were talking about making any changes. Well, you know, we're talking that. about this whole, uh, 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 the, the pickup of the waste, uh, of uh, solid waste collection. We, not, we shouldn't be even getting, being getting into that. We don't know what's going to happen four or five month, months from now. This budget, or way he's presented it to us, is what he is proposing to solve those problems now. <coughs> I think we need, uh, to, <coughs> Richard, I think we need to go into next year, 2014, and this budget that we're putting together right. with eyes wide open. Eyes wide open, but, ba but not based, but, but not, I'm not, I'm but not, not projecting what I'm may or may not I'm not projecting anything. Well, the only thing I suggested is that until <coughs> T's are crossed and I's are dotted, let's not go into anything new, all right, as we did with the recycling without having all the facts. I'd like to see more work done on some of these answers. Keep the same. Well, I don't know about this, and I don't know about that. If, of certain more article passes, mm -hmm. I think before we make any changes, while well, while 
to some regard we're thinking we might save money, in another regard we may not. We thought we were going to save a bundle and be in business on recyclables and the recyclable market fell apart. We are saving because we're not paying $82 a ton on what we're carting up there, but not the way everybody originally thought we would. So I'm just saying a little caution here and to know everything going into the 2014. Eyes wide open, Richard, that's all. Before we take another leap <coughs> out there and end up worse than we were when we started. Okay. Moving on. Do we have a time constraint with the staff yet? I would think so. Yeah, we're still okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we are 11 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, I think, ten, you said, I think right? it's earlier than that. Ten. Yeah. Oh, ten. And, yeah. and we're like yeah. ten. Sorry. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Would yes. you like a motion? Ten. Yes. Um, I make a motion that solid waste collection forty-three twenty-three um, of five hundred and forty-three thousand seven hundred and twenty-six. All those in favor. We're on page 115. Page 115. Page 115. Page 115, solid waste collection. Just moving a number. The total. 543726. Sure. Okay. Is that unanimous? Okay. Yeah.